I would like to take a time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. As you can see, we're going to be talking about the hunt is on for man in sex act on girl 15. So ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this, I would like to tell everybody, I hope you all have a beautiful morning and work day so let's get into this so as you can see well and what the police is saying that a man 20 years old or in his 20s committed a crime of like sexual acts on a 15 year old girl while sleeping over at her house so which means i guess she is he is he is actually friends with either the teenage girl brother older brother or somebody in a family older than her and they invited this 20 something year old man to sleep over the claim is twice this occurred but the second time she actually went and spoke to one of her aunts or family member and they took her to the police station and they made a report so this the girl is claiming that the, the guy was sleeping over at the house and like she she fell asleep and as I, was, I think it's around 1 or 12 in the night or 1 in the morning she wake up to him sexually assaulting her I don't know if she wake up with him touching her wake up with him painting his hands on her whatever touching her whatever y'all already know like, all they got good imagination to know exactly what I mean by she wake up to him sexually assaulting her and she claimed that happened twice so this man was actually literally come like he was sleeping over there to actually commit this act so this is why i will tell, urge people and tell people listen if you know you got teenage daughters and young daughters you gotta watch the men that you let come to your house and i'm talking about this in a way of mother in a way of aunt in a way of older brother in that way if you have friends and you know you have teenage sisters or daughters you get to really know the men that you have sleeping over in your house and you got to pay attention to these men that you got sleeping over in your house if you invite someone to sleep over in your house you got to make sure that that person is safe for your family you got to make sure that that person wherever you tell them they got to sleep here or you sleep in the living room you got to pay attention he can't be walking around the house like he he family and he lived there he just go and walk in the room and your yes, daughter in there and now you're going to pick up something i charge her no or whatever no you can't tolerate that sometimes Yes, what the guy do is wrong and you got to blame him 100% but still you got to put some blame on the family members because you can't have some man up in your house and you know you have a teenage daughter and this man, you got to pay attention to this man this man going in there and touching her who knows what he tell her Yo, if you tell anybody I'll go, I'll go to the state family member da, da, da. I never know and then how you going to live with the fact that you know that somebody you cool with do this to your, your family member, your daughter, or do this to your sister. This man here, I have no remorse for this man. This man, could, they could take you to jail. They could whip him. They could do what they got to do with him. He deserve, if he actually is found guilty in this situation, because you never know. It are people who make up stories and things. You never know. You know what that is. <laughs> it's a girl and if they can't get away, they ask you for money and think they go and say something. But I wouldn't want to say that. Well, it's alleged that the man did this. And at the same time, I don't want to take off nothing if they would offer the, what the girl saying because maybe the girl is telling the truth. So at the same time, we're going with what the story say. The man touched the girl, and guess what? It's wrong of him to do that. And the family members need to hold themselves also accountable for the situation because all they invited this man into the house. So all they literally invited this man into the house to assault your own family member. So people... Think about what you're doing when you invite people into your house. Especially you inviting a man when you know you have girl, daughters, nieces and stuff in, in the house. That's bad. 
this man coming in there and touching him up. He took something away from that girl when he did that. He took her rights away. She gonna live her life always remembering somebody touched her. That could taint her life. That could make her mentally have a problem towards men. She could be, when she do get married later on in the future, she could be treating her husband less because of this. She could be thinking that all men is this way. That's why men, you have to understand, the way you treat a woman sometimes, it will lead to a woman the way women think and perceive other men. That's why fathers, when you have a daughter, you have to treat them well. You have to let them know a standard. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. You have to let them know a standard. Let them know the materialistic things. You have to teach your daughter about certain things. Listen, you never let the value of artificial stuff and vanity get get to you. Don't make men think that they can buy you. Put a little chain on your neck and get what you have. You have to look into it. Let these men work for it. So people, we have to start doing the right thing in this world. These women and daughters and nieces is the future. They withhold the gateway to the future of generations. We cannot afford to let men with low standards come and take advantage of the women of our country and of the women of the world we need to stand up and defend this so people in the comment section let me know what you think about this what do you think they should do to this man for this situation what do you think should occur now do you think that i'm right when i'm saying the family have a a role to play in this by letting this man come into the house and do this to the family member do you think what I'm saying is right when I say you have to screen these dudes. You have to know who you're letting into your house when you know you have younger daughters. Even it could be an older lady, you know. Some men will take advantage of that. So we need to stand up for what is right right here. This girl deserves justice and if this man is found guilty, they have to deal with this man severely. Get this man some years in jail, teach this man a lesson so that he do not come back out to society and do it again all right people and also teach your daughters to respect this